Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back in American Truck Simulator. Right now we're in Twin Falls at Lennar, and we're picking up a load. And uh, before we get started, we have the Harvin Kenworth W990. This is a free truck, it's on Steam. Uh, I believe it was originally built by someone else, but Harvin took it over and made some additions to it, basically revamped the whole thing. But it is a free truck. Um, we also have the infamous Pisters Rogers 50 ton low boy. Um, and if you, I don't know if you guys follow, uh, what's going on with Pister, but they're constantly updating their stuff. They're constantly coming out with new stuff and on their discord, people have been chomping at the bit to get this. Um, it was only released, I believe a couple days ago. Some people had a pre-release or a beta version. It is officially out of beta, and it is here. There's lots of details. They're adding more loads. I got this trailer like, f well, two days ago, and today I got an email that there was an update adding more loads to it. It originally had four, and I think we they added four or five more loads to it, but incredible detail on this. I'm going to go ahead and kind of pick up and float free here, but look at the amount of detail that they have on this. It's so cool. All the lines. Really cool. A lot of good detail on this trailer. And the loads are pretty cool too. Realistic weights. I mean, that's crazy. Really good detail. Let me go to the back here. Ooh, a little jittery. I got Idaho for a plate kind of makes sense for today all right so that's the truck that's the trailer I'm gonna go through a little bit more detail in the workshop after I make the drive so if you're curious um, I mean you can pick up the uh, Kenworth W990 on Steam and check it out for yourself um, but I will be going a little bit over the uh, Rogers 50 ton low boy since that is paid wear uh, and it might help you make the decision of whether to get it or whether to not get it. So as for right now, we're going to go ahead and get on the road. Let's get a job. So where are we going? We want it from Twin Falls. I kind of like this Case 250. But this Deuce and Loader, I believe, is a new addition from the original loads that they were providing this 872D. Oh, it's, let's see if we can get something with a little bit of weight. This, should we go with this one? That's kind of a long drive though. Maybe we'll just go with the case and we'll just keep it kind of a shorter trip because we do want to go through the truck and trailer a little bit in the shop. So let's go ahead and pick that up. Pretty good. Okay, so we are running a uh, Zmod's Cat C16 inner. So I will let you listen. I love that idle. So I believe this is, I uh, can't remember exactly, I think it's like 625 or 650 horsepower version, so plenty of power. And I am running a Eaton Fuller 18 speed with the real Eaton Fuller mod. Let's go ahead and get, get the brakes off, and let's go find out where we're picking up. You're picking up just here on the right. down so you can hear it a little bit too. Hit the horn so they know we're coming back. Get over that bump there.
Looks like we're going to pull in there pretty good. Not my best parking. But I think they're going to take it. Not perfect. There we go. Shut off the engine. Get the headlights off. We'll just leave the parking lights on right now. And we'll get loaded. Be right back. All right, there we are. There's our Case 250. Pretty neat cargo. I'm going to kind of float around here again just to show you. Their loads are pretty detailed, too. They spend quite a bit of time. And look at the detail with all the tie-downs. They've got the red flags on the front and the back, both sides. Pretty good detail. Cannot, I mean, because whenever you're picking up a low boy, a step deck, a flat deck, anything like that, it's really because you want to see what's happening with the loads. And every time a developer or a modder goes ahead and spends this level of detail into the actual load themselves, including all the tie downs and stuff, it's just really good to see. Pretty much anything that Pister's putting out so far, I have absolutely no complaints with. Just great detail. All right, let's get going. Where are we going today? So we're going to the BHP in Logan. That's right. So, okay, three hours, 35 minutes game time. Get that put away because we do have GPS and dash. All right. Off the brake. Get our lights back on. At the uh, top of the dash, just to the right of the four ways, you'll see that the lights are on. I'm going to turn them off now. Two little rocker switches. There's the parking lights, and here comes the headlights. So we do have functional indicators there for this uh, custom W990 setup. Harvin did a great job with it. I'm going to go ahead and get the windows up. She's running a little loud at least at the time of recording. Make sure we don't take out the... Okay, we're good. Actually, I'm going to change that around. We got Lori with us. Turn right. Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. You know what? If I already have the ticket, then I'm going. I guess I could turn right on red anyway. A lot of people just hanging out in this neighborhood here in Twin Falls. Let's go ahead and get those four ways off. Like I said, uh, running 18 speed, pretty appropriate for a W990, I think. I could be running my normal 15 speed or anything like that. I will go straight. They got a wedding up here at the uh, church. Saw that as I was coming in. They got a uh, got a little wagon going on too. There you go. Slow down a little bit. Keep her under thirty-five. Not in a huge rush, and it's not a. Uh, it's not a very long drive anyway. Boys, 
tend to get caught up on curbs a lot. Try to stay away from that guy sitting on the bench, though. See, we got a little bit of weather coming in. I don't know if we're going to get any rain. I do have rain turned down as uh, on the setting so that I don't get a whole lot of it. But I will turn it up if we're in, like, a rainy season. I like to try to keep it as realistic as I can. I check weather reports, actually, before I drive in different spots. And I don't think there's supposed to be any rain coming through Idaho. Five miles an hour, six high, pretty good. Pretty beefy little engine here. Good visibility with these mirrors. Both on the left side and on the right. And of course that classic Kenworth cutout. I don't know why Peterbilt didn't do that. I really like that. up to 55 already. That's good. Go for 8. So, uh, something different that I'm also doing has nothing to do with actually in the game, but it has to do with the hardware. You will maybe notice that I have a different headset on. And I've had this old Logitech headset forever. Uh, probably 7 or 8 years old now. Just a USB one. And so I've just been using a separate mic, and of course I have it on a on an arm tied to my desk, and it's always in the way. So like a lot of people have button boxes, so they'll just be able to reach out and touch them like right about here, and I can kind of do that, but I'm kind of reaching, and I've got my lights over here, I've got my windows over here that I'm reaching for as we crash, as we crash. Oh, I was supposed to go right anyway. Oh, I was supposed to go right anyway. Ooh. Totally meant to do that. Totally meant to do that. Alright, let's get going. <laughs> Gotta hit the roads before we get caught in a ditch. All trucks right lane might be coming to an inspection area. In any event, the, the boom arm has always been on my way coming off to my left. Uh, so I haven't it's harder for me to reach down to these buttons. It would be all fixed of course if I had a Normal button box like most people do I, I may be getting a button box in the near future in the meantime for me to be able to reach all of this stuff It's kind of a pain I'm not gonna lie I Believe we're staying here, right? Yeah, the spectrum points right up here. So instead of going with a separate mic and a separate headset um, I just got one of these that has uh, what I consider to be a pretty decent mic on it because I didn't want like your typical gaming sound. I'm not doing it to be in game and chatting with friends and stuff like that all the time. I want it to be able to be somewhat close to a broadcast quality mic and that is exactly what I found in this headset. This by the way if you're curious and I'll have a link down in the description it is the Audio Technica ATH. M50X STS. Oh, mouthful. But is this working? Or did I not go? I didn't go up farther enough. There we go. Let's see what we're weighing in on. 96,000 pounds overall. Yeah. Pretty good. In any event, let me know what you guys think of the sound of the audio coming through the mic. The only reason why I was sticking with the other mic is because it's more like broadcast quality. But I, I need to get away, f especially when I'm hitting all the buttons and all the things. I want to be able to also, like when I turn my head to check the mirror like that, I don't want to have to go get my voice to be super quiet 
because I'm pointed away from the mic. I want it to just be here so I can turn my head any direction. Sorry if that made you sick, by the way. Um, and the audio can be consistent. It's also an easier setup because I already know that I have to have headphones anyway. So might as well, windows are up, might as well just have a little boom arm on it. So it's a pretty cool mic. I'm really liking the quality. I'm liking the convenience that I have to be able to move around. Um, like I said, I'll have a link to the headset down in the description. You can check it out. For those of you who are in a similar situation and you are looking for a good quality mic to be able to use on Twitch, uh, streaming, on YouTube for your videos, anything like that. Uh, but let me know your thoughts about the audio quality and hopefully I don't have to go back to that boom arm. But I'm liking it. I'm liking it pretty good. And uh, yeah, that is the new addition for this drive. I can already tell, I like, I, I'm always conscious still, even though I know I've got this mic, and it's always in the same spot, I'm always still thinking, you know, hey, should I be, you know, what happens when I turn my head like that? Am I going to be pointing away from the mic? It's going to take me a while to undo that habit. We're already up at 65, that's pretty good. Let's zoom out a little bit on the map now. Yeah, we are definitely driving into it. I'm not going to be surprised one bit if we get some rain. And we're just about, yep, just about at 70. Slow her down a little bit. I'm really liking the look of the W990. I like it from the outside, but I'm also, I like the refreshed look on the inside. It's so much different than... Um, a lot of the other W900s. I believe someone put out a W990 a little while ago, but they didn't really pay attention to a whole lot of detail. I can't remember who it was. Uh, certainly not, nowhere near the detail of this, and they may have even been using just the base SCS W900. When you, all those, so many trucks use that as a base when they make Kenworth Simmons. This is a little bit of a refresher. I really like it. Jeez. Just slammed on the brakes. Just absolutely slammed on the brakes. Been one of my complaints forever. And I know stuff like that happens in the real world, but... Why is it that all of the AI traffic have different physics than I do? How they can go from 70 miles an hour down to zero in like 20 feet, but I have to be aware of actual physics and it's going to take me a while to stop. So I don't like that. I wish that SCS would make that a little bit more realistic. If it's going to take me some time to stop, it needs to take them some time to stop too. Otherwise, I'm just going to be crashing into the back end of cars. Or my other option is I have to drive on this road at 40 miles an hour. Not very realistic. A little pet peeve of mine. So we look at the uh, skies up ahead. And uh, not looking great. But maybe we're going to skirt our way around it. And we're not going to hit that. That'd be cool. Get out and take a look at her. Nice combo there. I've got the uh, Jasper wheels on there and the wider tires. Oh, oh, we are definitely going to crash. I think it's a pretty good combo. And we can take a look here. A little bit safer. At least I can see what the road's going to do. But it's a pretty good combo. And I'm liking the W990. Definitely liking the loads from the. Uh, from the Rogers 50 ton low boy too. We're just about up there. Oh, it's 80. The speed limit is 80 here. 
And of course, knowing ATS physics, am I going to push it? Of course I am. Might hit a few cars if they decide to slow down. But she definitely has the power for it. Even with a total of 96,000 pounds. Doing pretty good. About a 650 horsepower engine will, will do that for you. So we got about 39 minutes left game time. Like I said, pretty, pretty short video. Nice sound of Jake. We just go left? Yeah, we... Oh, I mean, we have to yield, but... Not very familiar with this type of traffic pattern. Oh, and we got hung up. Let's see if we can take that guy out. Yep, we're pushing him back a little bit. Sorry. Sorry. Always gotta pay attention with the low boys. Extra wide turns. Oh, I see. So we were clear. We just had to yield there, and now we're gonna hit the light. Hopefully, we can still green when we're going through it. No one in that left lane. We'll really take it extra wide on the right. Don't need to get hung up twice in the same intersection. everything. So it's shifting if you would like to go forward. Ooh, a little bit of a glitch there. That probably, that shift probably wasn't my fault. That was probably the glitch. What are we doing here? 115 frames per second. here. Well, I don't really have to worry about slowing down. I'm only going 35 right now. Take this extra wide and still not hit that wall. I love pulling low boys, but I always feel like I'm threading the needle with them. Just got to pay a little bit more attention than Five, a little bit of downhill, and we are kind of doing some cutbacks here. Not cutbacks, switchbacks. <laughs> cutbacks. To really go wide, especially on that right side. 55, but they want us to stay 45 through this. Now we're slowing down to 45 altogether anyway. Signal's coming up. Yeah, I'm just going to... Right. Looks like we're already coming up on our delivery anyway. This is going to be a tight turn. No one immediately in that lane. Just good. Go a little bit wider. Here we are. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. 
There we go. Four ways on, windows down. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on these beacons too. So I got beacons on the truck, your standard beacons, but something cool about this, they've got the alternating strobes. That comes as an option on the Rogers Low Boy. I love that version. So they do have another version of the lights where you can just pick out your own, but this one is really cool because you just pick it and as I've said many times, I don't like setting all the lights. It just does it for me and it gives me that version of the alternating uh, strobes going. Really cool. Which is pretty realistic. I mean, your job is to try to get people's attention so that they know something big is coming. You don't have accidents and stuff. Alright. Welcome to Logan. We got this Case 250, CX250D, delivered on time. Did I already set the brake? Nope. Now it's set. We can go ahead and get our beacons off. But that was the drive. Nice short drive from Twin Falls to Logan. And now we're going to go into the workshop and we're going to take a look briefly at the truck and a little bit more at the trailer. I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, back in the shop now. Let's take a look at the Kenworth W990. Looks like a beefy truck. Let's see what sort of options we have on this. In terms of cab, we can do a day cab or we can also do a 40 inch flat or a 76 inch mid-roof. I'll let you see what those look like. There's your 40 inch flat top. It's actually pretty cool. And then let's look at the one with the Aerodyne sleeper. Boom. That looks pretty cool too. That looks pretty stylish. I'm not usually a big fan of the tall, you know, or the mid-roof, uh, you know, larger sleepers. I like to usually go with the flat tops or a day cab or something like that. That looks pretty stylish. Not too bad. Um, what else we got here? We've got a couple different chassis, six by four. Um, so it's basically just the length and the uh, size of the tank. So there we have our 280 gallon, that's 280 inch wheelbase. You can get it with a an even bigger uh, fuel tank if you want. I had it down on this small one with the day cab, but so essentially you're just looking at different lengths and different size capacity for the fuel tank. Um, engine, like I said, Zemont's uh, C16, it was a 625 horsepower, and I was running a uh, so the ratio 14.4 with a 4.1 differential on an 18 speed. Um, we've got a couple different options in terms of these uh, paint jobs. These just came with the truck. They've obviously been made to go just for this truck, so it's not like a different uh, paint job. And most of these you can go ahead and change anyway. So nothing too crazy here. So this is, you got your your... Okay, so that's what they're doing for these top ones. You got Bullet, Bullet Custom, and the Custom ones are the ones you can change. So this Classic Stripes, you can't, but then the Classic Stripe Custom, you can't, and that's what I had on the truck. Kind of like that design, too. Um, let's stick outside the truck for right now. Let's look at all of these different accessories. Uh, they've got a few different bumpers for you. So I just went with this Firefly. Got a shield. Got your what they call a quarterback. It's more of a modern one. Actually, I kind of like that. I really like that look, especially with these big wheels and the Jasper, uh, the Jasper wheels. And there's your standard. Um, you can also add flags to it here from your front banner. You can add your flags. And this is for your bug deflector. I don't usually do that. Uh, you, get, you do have custom on the door handle. You can go chrome. You can go painted. The battery boxes, I don't even know. Is there something visible that changes? I don't know. I don't see any difference there. Um, what else do we have? Oh, the cab panels, of course, you can put. I don't mind putting on a, cust a few custom lights here. You can get them in aluminum. You can get it painted. Um, but we're just adding a few lights, so that's not bad. Actually, I actually have a def tank on this. Fuel tanks, you can go aluminum or you can go painted. That looks kind of cool. Um, exhaust. Only a couple options, curved or flat top. I usually run the flat top. 
and then we'll get some utility lights here in the back and then I can I've got a few options so left blinker stop and positional reverse or just positional I think I had reverse on uh, you can't do anything with this stack here um, up at the top your usual and I like that they give you some different nodes for this because you can actually put on these uh, train horns uh, from sound fixes and then you can also run your cabin lights and you can there's only a few spots where you can put them so it doesn't take a whole lot a whole lot of time sun visors we've got the stainless steel we've got the painted we've got the chrome and the sharp chrome so a few options there uh, mud flaps I got the, I got the quarters on right now but that actually looks pretty cool too it almost it looks like a matte black I like that I should I think I'm gonna run that next time or you can go with your stainless or you can go with your paint and in the back here they've got a few pre-selected lights I went with the paint although you can do a custom chrome and you can do the stock if you'd like and mud flaps a couple different versions of Kenworth the SCS and ooh, those actually look pretty cool so that's on the outside not a ton of options but this is a free truck <laughs> and it's got a lot of detail especially when we go inside here too you can see as we've seen on the drive you can see the detail and essentially what's happening here with these interior options um, pay attention I think to this area so if I go to a diamond there's your diamond I don't know if that reflects up there maybe it's just right there so this is diamond gray uh, slate gray then we've got the diamond tan and we go back to the vantage tan interior without those diamonds I actually kinda like the diamonds uh, or the limited edition black which is what I had which makes it look like that I like that and that little so a lot of detail in here uh, not a whole lot of nodes to change things like at all but you got different steering wheels that you can choose some of the more classic steering wheels and only two of the like the more uh, more modern they've got this one and then the one that I used was this one give it a little bit of a shine on the steering wheel uh, side mirror you can change your main mirrors you can either go duty painted or exclusive I think I went exclusive for the video and all these other changes I believe are outside or just console you know dashboard items so that's pretty much all you have um, and the CB radio which is cool you only get one option but it looks cool and again yeah free truck not bad let's go ahead and take out uh, take a look at the Pister Rogers 50 ton low boy now all right, so there is the truck in the trailer. We'll go ahead and get rid of the truck. Take a look at some of the options here. Uh, chain type single. One body. A couple different options with the chassis. And it has to do with these... Uh, actually, it has to do with this pin here. If you see here, we've got either a lift rear pin or a lift forward pin. Take a look. Let me see. Yeah, you can see that pretty good. I'm going to switch to the other option now and basically just changes the position of the pin I don't know uh, I'm not a you know real truck driver I don't know if that's like a, a thing if that's uh, one of the things that you can get if you buy a low boy is the pin placement maybe that's incredibly important I I don't know but that's what that's what you have uh, that's the difference there on the chassis um, pretty standard most people just leave them black or white or like I did match them as best you can to the truck not exactly I think there's a little bit more yellow in this but let's get the truck out of here and let's look at some of the nodes there's only a couple of them but they're kind of cool now when I first got this truck I think this was the option for the lights just adds a couple lights right there and then they have the second one where they add these smaller lights here on the side and they're constantly doing updates on these obviously spots for your uh, tires and wheels um, rear lights so here's the custom one so you can put whatever sort of custom lights you want on them of course I just went with the ones that came with it and as you can see that alternate flashing looks pretty cool I like that a lot 
Then you've got your rear mud flaps. I went with the uh, Rogers as it fits the fits the whole trailer. We can go blank. We can get Pister or Truck Town. And then our last one is whether we want that oversized banner or not, which is kind of cool because I could have actually put that on because I had an oversized load banner option on the front of the truck too. I just didn't choose to do that. So that, and so, you know, as I've already shown you quite a bit, like right before the drive, the amount of detail um, and resolution that they have on this trailer is really cool. The loads look really good and they're constantly improving them. I'm sure by no time they'll have like 15, 20 different loads for this. Uh, so very enjoyable experience overall. Very happy. Um, if you have any questions about the Pistol Rogers 50 ton low boy, go ahead and leave them down in the description. I'll answer them as best I can. Hopefully this gives you a pretty good preview to determine whether or not you might want to pick this up. Pretty popular in the community though. So if you like this video, learn something, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and hitting the notification button so you can see all of my videos. For now, this video is wrapped. I will see you on the next one. Take care.